Hey guys, I'm Tree and I make streamer support videos. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a currency in Streamlabs chatbot. But first, let me explain what a currency is. Currency are points that people earn from being in the chat, subscribing, following, hosting, rating, giving bits, and a lot more. <laughs> What you can do with this currency is different for every bot you use. I'm going to explain you how to use Streamlabs chatbot. And in there, you can use currency to play mini games, do song requests, or trigger sound alerts or other kind of commands in your stream. Like I said, this is not the only bot that can do currency. Another big bot that can do currency is Stream Elements. If you guys want me to make a video about Stream Elements as well, just leave it down in the comments. Let's jump behind the PC and I'm going to show you how to set up currency on Streamlabs Chatbot. When you start up Streamlabs Chatbot, you will go to the console screen, where you see your chat, your moderators and your viewers. This is where you can directly write something in your chat, as yourself or as your bot. But we're going to talk about currency. So this means that we're going to go to the currency tab. And that's right here. The first thing you want to do is activate the currency by clicking on the switch icon. The currency can be used now, but you probably want to tweak some settings. Therefore, we need to click on the cogwheel on the top right here. So what you want to do is think about a currency name. Of course, you can always use points or currency or dollars or gold, whatever you want. But mine is called sweaters because my name means sweater in Dutch. So if you have come up with a name, you have to type it here under the name. Right here on the left, you see command. What you have to do here is type your currency name, but then with an exclamation mark in front of it. What this does is it makes your viewers be able to find out how much currency they have. You can have a command that is exclamation mark point or exclamation mark currency if you want a general one. On the right here you see response. This works fine as it is. You see some code words in there that refer to the actual numbers. So for example, it says username here, which means that it's going to say the username of the person that used to command. So if I would do exclamation mark sweaters in my own chat, it would say truly here. Then it says rank. This is a ranking system you can add. You don't have to do this. So if you don't want ranks, you can delete this part out of it. Then it says hours and the amount of hours. So this is just going to display the amount of hours somebody watched. If you don't want this in it, again, just delete this part out of it. Then it says currency name. For me that is sweaters, so if I would write sweaters down there, it would give the same result. But if I change my name, this name will change with it, as long as it says dollar currency name. And then after that it says points, which is the amount of currency somebody has. So this is just displaying how many points they have, basically what they want to do if they do exclamation mark sweaters or exclamation mark points or exclamation mark gold. Then underneath here you see assign ranks based on X amount of something. Gain spent in chat. So what you can do here, this has to do with the ranking system. If you don't use the ranking system, this is unimportant. But if you do, you want to assign these ranks to an amount of hours or points people have. I personally like hours because people can spend their points and would get a lower rank. And if they watch a certain amount of hours, they can go back and watch less hours so they will keep their rank always. <laughs> then we have this box here that we can tick. Take offline hours in account for the total hours in the stream. I recommend not taking this because people can just lurk in your stream when you're not online and gain your points. So that's that's kind of like cheating, I think. So I would recommend not taking this box. Then you have automatically become a regular at something. Uh, you can have points and hours here again. Um, for me, I think hours would be the best because the same reason as before actually, just people can, uh, can spend their points but they can't spend their hours. What this does, it will just basically say to the bot that this person comes to your stream often. And I set it on 25 hours, which means that if somebody watched my stream for 25 hours, I consider them to be a regular. Then we have use Streamlabs extension currency. This basically means that it's connected to the website from Streamlabs. And I don't have it connected, so I can't click on it. But if you have it connected, you can uh, tick this and it will be uh, synced. Then underneath here, it says intervals, uh, online interval. It's 10 minutes, by the way. It's not 10 seconds, 10 hours, it's 10 minutes. Uh, you can drag this up or down. 
Uh, this means that people get points every 10 minutes. You can also set it on 5 minutes. People get points every 5 minutes. We don't know how much yet because we still need to set that. But that's the interval for people to get actual points. Then we have the offline interval. If you take this off, this is unimportant. It will not do anything. But if you have ticked this on, uh, same thing, but then with offline uh, viewer. So you can set this like on 60 and people get points every 60 minutes when you're offline. Again, I would not recommend doing this at all because people can just get a lot of points by keeping your stream open all the time, even though you're not live. Then we have payout. This means that this is the amount of points they're going to get after the interval. So I said 10 minutes, so I'm going to say 10 minutes for, for just to make it easy for everybody. So after 10 minutes, they get one sweater if I'm live. If I make this 10, they get 10 sweaters when I'm live. Same with the offline one, but because I didn't take this, it wouldn't matter what I what I put in here. If you did take it, uh, make sure to make offline payout less than the live payout because otherwise you get a lot of lurkers when you're not live. That's not ideal. Then underneath here you can give some extra points. For example, regulars, uh, they get an extra point if they watch for 10 minutes. So after after they watch 10 minutes, they would like get 11 with the settings like this. Again, people become a regular after the amount of time or points they gained that you set right here. Or you can make them a regular. Same for subs, moderators and people that are actively chatting. Uh, so you can give them extra points for being in your stream, basically. Uh, then you can also give extra sweaters for certain events. If somebody rates you, they can get five extra sweaters right now. You can set this to whatever number you want. Uh, then if they follow, they get three points right now for me. You can set this on whatever you want. You don't have to copy any of my settings, but just what, what you like to do. Same with sub and mess gifted sub. So if, if I would give subs to people, um, I would give, get this amount of uh, sweaters per sub I gift. And we also have for hosting, so if somebody does slash host and then your name in their own chat, they will host you and they get another point or more points depending on how you set it. Uh, same with donations, this is kind of the same as the event payout. If somebody donates one US dollar or euro, depending on your currency, they get this amount of points. So let's say if they would do five five dollars or five euros, they will get 50 points with the settings like this. And you can also set them for extra life donations. Say it works the same as normal donations, uh, but then with extra life donations instead of for yourself. So those are the basic settings of the currency. We're going to take a look at the rank system now. So go back to this main page of the currency. And in the top right here, you see this little crown. Uh, if you hover over it, it will say ranks. If you click on it, uh, you will end up here. You would not see anything. These are the ranks I already set. So I'm going to remove them all for you guys so you can see how you actually add some. So if you want more ranks, you click on the plus, which says add if you hover over it. You can name a rank um, to whatever you want. You can call them one, two, three, four, five if you want that. You can call them after like army uh, jobs. I, I don't know a lot of those. Lieutenant and stuff like that. You can, you can call them after that. You can make something funny out of it. Like if my name is sweater, like my currency name is sweater, so I could make like socks, trousers, underwear, or something like that. Weird ranks. I know I'm I'm a bit weird. Um, yeah, you 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 can you can do um, phases of growing up, baby, um, child, adult. You know, like you can do like that, and um. So you can just name them. So let's do the baby version. We name it baby. The group we set it to is viewers. You can also set it to uh, subscribers or moderators. For some reason, my uh, <laughs> for some reason it doesn't record this uh, flip out thing here. You, I see it, but you guys don't see it. But it says subscribers and moderators as well for me. And then we can submit it. It says requirements here. If you want to check if it was viewers or hours. You just go back, go, click on the little cockwheel, and then here it says assign ranks based on X amount of hours or views gained spent in chat. So you can set it here, points and hours. 
Okay, so we have done one rank now. This rank you basically get the moment you start viewing my channel. We can add more by just clicking on the plus icon again. And let's say we make this kit. Just for funsies now. And you have to watch five hours. Everybody can do it and then we submit it. So if somebody watches five hours, they're not a baby anymore, but they're starting to get a kit. And this is how we set up ranks. You can, can name them whatever you want. People will see the names of the ranks. Uh, you can edit them by clicking on this edit thing. So you click on, on the rank first and then click on this pencil. And you can edit them. Submit them again. You can delete them by clicking on the bin, of course. Click first on the rank, then on the bin. If you want to delete them all, right click on it and remove them all. You can also right click to edit and remove them. So let's go back to the currency page. Like you see, I don't have people in here right now. I deleted them all just for this video. So you will see people coming in here as soon as they start earning points or view time in my chat. You need to make sure that Streamless Chatbot is open though. If you don't open this, people won't earn currency. So you need to make sure to keep this open at all times. You can minimize it, but don't quit it. So what if there's nobody in here and you want to add somebody and give them some points already? Okay. There's a plus icon here. We can add a person. Let's say me, because I can give myself points. Trui. That's my ID. That's my Twitch ID. And I can give myself 100 points. And I even can give myself watch hours. So I can say, like, I watch 25 hours. <laughs> you can also give them a nickname. So I, we can call myself Trui. And submit it. So you'll see this is my nickname now. Um, I don't have a rank because I didn't actually watch that many hours and uh, I got 100 points already. So this is how it looked like if people come in and this whole thing is going to fill up. You can browse here to the pages. You can also search people. So if I do three and then search, you can, well, only see me now, but this will also be the result <laughs> if there were actually more people in here. You can search by name and rank. If you want to edit a person, you want to give them more watch hours, or you want to give them more points, or you want to give them less points, right click on them and then edit, and you can edit it all again. You can also remove him like this, you can remove everybody in here, you can remove uh, inactive users for one week, two weeks, three weeks, one month or two months by just right clicking on it and reset points to uh, zero for everyone. You can do all of that by just right clicking on it. You can see it because, I don't know, because the way I'm recording it, I don't know why that is, but you can see it. But you just right click on it and you will see it. <laughs> so this is how you do it. What do you want the new video to be about? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tick the little bell icon, and I will see you in the next video.